Hey everyone, it's me Huggy Wuggy, and I'm taking over Lego My Lego 19 Zero's ch channel. <laughs> Not really, guys. All right, that was a that was a plushie I got from the mall. But now, in all seriousness. All right, hello everyone. This is a uh, Lego My Lego 920 here, and welcome to a, another episode of Let's Talk Mascot Horror. So I wanted to talk about the uh, full-on, almost the full-on plot for uh, Poppy Playtime Chapter Three, and I do want to talk about the unfortunate news of FNAF AR. So let's get straight on to it. So, Chapter 3 has released about a week ago, if I'm correct, but of course, whenever you're seeing this, it'll be two weeks ago, but anyway, um, so, uh, so Chapter 3, yes, it does pick up after, uh, Chapter 2, after the plane, after the train crash, but something else. So, the... The new uh, monster experiment antagonist, Catnap, which is a bigger body, smiling critter. So uh, he pretty much takes the player in a trash compactor before the player unfortunately escapes. And, and after you escape that trash area... You would tend to pick up a phone, which this new character, Ollie, calls. But before that, there's also a tape. You know what? How about a uh, break, breakdown about the tapes later? Yes, let's just talk about the plot. So, yes, Ollie pretty much gives a task throughout play care. But yes, after you leave that trash area, you do see the the train uh, on fire. So yes, especially when you get so uh yes so yeah pretty much uh Ollie once you arrive at Play Care, where um you'll hear Elliot Ludwig's voice from the TV. Yeah. So yes, he's pretty much tasking us to restore the power down in play care and use the gas mask for like the uh, red gas that put character that puts people to sleep. Yeah, especially from Catnap's Reign of Terror, like like from what we heard from the gameplay trailers, Ollie was the one that said that Catnap was so like the play cares catnaps church and feeding ground or hunting ground and catnap is pretty much tasked by the the prototype to uh capture and track down the player All right, and while I search through more plot, by the way, I'm using the the fandom page for reference to uh, share what the plot of Chapter Three is about. So yes, uh, and saying some thing, same things before. So yes, thrown down the chute by Capnap into the trash compactor in the beginning. Then we then after we escape. We just make our way through the uh, series of maintenance tunnels, and uh, and yes, we do find the phone and answer the phone, which we get the call from this unknown character, which we said Ollie. Sorry, I just got a notification on my laptop. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, so yes, we so yeah we're while we communicate with Ollie. Um, so yes, pretty much going down the ongoing uh, situation. So yes. So uh. So after we return to the the train. 
Well, of course, that would enter play here called Elliot's Express, which is, of course, from Elliot Ludwig, because we know Elliot Ludwig is pretty much like the almost the uh, William Afton of uh, Poppy Playtime. And you can also think of him to be like the Joey Drew of Poppy Playtime as well. But of course the prototype would mostly be the William Afton of uh, Poppy Playtime. So yes, we hear uh, Elliot Ludwig's speech introducing his ideologies and thoughts during the creation of Play Care. And when we arrive at Play Care, Ollie will give gives us a key to the to the gas production zone, which is used to power the building, but also uh, produces a gas, the red smoke, like like I mentioned, to put people to sleep. And after we activate the console, when the power goes out, Ollie will eventually tasks us with uh, reactivating with reactivating the power and using backup so yes like so like pretty much b backing up the uh the generators generator uh, i can't speak today generators from uh, several locations to power the the gas production zone to uh, reach catnap, and yes, so uh, the the place that we enter first that Ollie tasks us to go to enter is the home sweet home, which is the abandoned uh, orphanage home. So yes, where they turn the uh, the children into toys, like with the like with the theories. Um. Uh, so like after we uh, enter the home sweet home uh, orphanage. So uh, yes, the player would of course inhale the red smoke and so yes for the results from like catnap, catnap manipulating uh, them into believing they are still conscious while they can be seen unconscious in the real world so like all these illusions like from the red smoke you can pretty much see illusions like what we broke down from uh, the past trailers for chapter 3. So yes, like you're going through a, a maze of seemingly endless corridors in the home sweet home from the red gas. And uh, also coming upon audio recordings that claim that a dead child had been found on Elliot Ludwig's estate. The play, the player. Uh, so yes, you're pretty much gonna reach the end of the uh, the corridors, where they will watch a tape welcoming ploys to the Playtime Co Factory. So yes, you'll see Huggy Wuggy's face on the tape. Then when the tape becomes more disturbing getting to call out the player specifically for returning and telling them of the incomprehensible horrors that now inhabit the factory. So like while you're looking at Huggy Wuggy, you'll see Huggy Wuggy's creepy face. And uh and with that nightmarish Huggy Wuggy popping out of the TV Yes, this is where that first chase scene begins with that creepy Huggy Wuggy. Then after waking up, after the jump scare with that creepy Huggy Wuggy, uh, everything will clear out from the rag gas where you can actually see what really happens. So yes, after you activate 
the uh, home sweet home generator and leaving um kissy missy attempts to like try to kill the player which is us but then stopped by poppy so yes kissy missy and poppy like we theorized will were allies of uh chapter three and uh our remo so yes like poppy explains that the player needs to get rid of the monsters who turn into them which is so yes pretty much the ex all the experiments and uh poppy explains that the prototype will kill the player if they try to escape and that he needs to be killed and ollie tells the player to go to the school to restore uh power t to it while trying to turn on the generator the player encounters miss delight so yes another character oh yes um bef before i dig into that yes we do get the uh 2.0 grab pack and that purple uh powered hand so yes it so yes which does get give us the ability to like jump upon platform to platform so yes yeah, so for miss delight by the way miss delight was pretty much uh like those um those uh statues in doctor who like if you uh like if the lights turn off like the statue will move towards you and come after you even if you're not looking But yes, the Miss Delight was the only uh, remaining teacher um, at the school and play care. And was abandoned by her co-workers due to their constant need to, for her flesh to feast upon. But yes, Miss Delight uh, continuously threatens the player through the school's PA system. And after they turn the power back on, she damages the de generator before chasing the player through a various corridors and classrooms, on only moving when they look away or when the lights turn off. So yes, that's the second chase scene. As the player nears the school maintenance exit, Miss Delight abandons abandons her movement rule and charges at the player who uh, brings a gate down into onto her causing her, her to instantly die all right so yes then after the the school the player tends to arrange the orange hand which makes their way into caverns of play care so yeah the orange hand is uh, the hand where you can uh, shoot flames you know so yes there are completing several puzzles they see catnap worshipping a shrine of the prototype catnap doesn't notice the player vanishing after uh, they look away the player then enters uh, the playhouse which is the next place in the play care we enter so yes, like through caves, when they fend off a horde of uh, many smiling critters via the orange hand, or via, yeah. The player then uh, activates the backup generator of, uh, of the playhouse, uh, and on their way out, they encounter a locked up, uh, dog day who explains that the entirety of play care is a uh, catnaps playground for destruction murder general acts of violence yes because from the trailer dog day did say that that the prototype is his god and what he do does to heretics
And yes, especially explaining that worshipping him and uh, killing anyone who doesn't listen to his god, the prototype. Shortly uh, before his monologue ends, the many smiling cr critters infest uh, Dog Day before hijacking his body and chasing the player through it, which is the uh, the next uh, chase scene, of course, where the smiling critters were taking over Dog Day. And... Uh, so yes, the play the player escapes p the possessed uh, dog day. Last hearing his screams before taking a slide out of playhouse. So yes, then the player uh, send no Ollie, then sends the player to the counselor's office as their final objective, where they find and watch a tape of a. Of a warning issued to Playtime Co. employees on August 8th, 1995, warning them of a hostile force and to evacuate. The player briefly um, returns to the caverns as they uh, make their way through the counselor's office as uh, as they enter red smoke infested air yeah so yeah red smoke uh, infested area while trying to uh, power the building the player uh, is attacked by catnap who knocks the gas mask off their face and sends them into a dream state where poppy Ask the player th here th uh, theoretical uh, questions with various visions of shall children and play care. Yeah, in the fandom page, I think it's supposed to say uh, theoretical. Uh, yeah, even with these typos that go on. All right, after. Uh, Rerouting the counselor's office back up power to the statue. Ollie gives the player the final battery required to power the gas production zone. They return to the zone, but Catnap ambushes them by filling the red the room with red smoke, chasing the player into an elevator. So yes, yeah, the final uh, chase scene is with catnap and there's so many tasks you gotta do to stop catnap the players enter the safe room uh, and is required to fend off catnap for three minutes as he constantly toys with the player via hallucinations a green pa grab pack hand receiver eventually overcharges and the player utilizes this to eliminate Catnap at the hand sacrifice. Catnap is electrocuted and eventually and inadvertently lights himself on fire, exhaling the red smoke. So yeah, that. But yes, uh, we don't eventually ca kill Catnap, though. Just pretty much light them on fire. The prototype's arm uh, emerges from the ceiling, offering to assist uh, Catnap uh, before brutally taking uh, his life. So yes, the prototype is pretty much the one who kills off Catnap. And, um... Like, we, so, we first, so yeah, the monsters we've only killed off are Huggy Wuggy and Mommy Longlegs. Uh, Huggy Wuggy, it might seem like we've killed him off, but he could still pretty much be alive. 
All right, so uh, the player uses the battery uh, to power the console, uh, finally diverting the uh, gas and powering the area. They then encounter Poppy, who shows them a tape containing CCTV footage of what happened to the uh, the player's co-workers, an incident toys so yes it's pretty much from the tape called the hour of joy so uh i'm so uh without reading the the fandom article on how i can explain this so yes uh from that hour of joy tape i know i do, i would choose to explain all the tapes later but um i'm gonna explain this one that uh poppy uh plays in so yes You'll see what happens to all the, uh, the, the, all the employees of Playtime Co. Like, so, uh, yes, they do get, uh, attacked and killed by all the experiments. Like, like in the lobby showing all the, the innovation and, uh, make a friend doors, you know, like from chapter one, Huggy Wuggy kills, uh, the, the player, all the employees in that area. As well as Mommy Long Legs at the uh, game station, even Boxy Boo. As well, and yes, from that uh, that one tape where Kissy Missy was on the train, yes, she was the one that that attacked all the employees, and so did Catnap at Playcare, as well as all the little smiling critters. Yeah, all the experiments did that. And yes, they were under the prototype's control. Yeah, they were on under the prototype's control. Yeah. So yes, um, Poppy does then explain that that she had been thrown into a into the case. Uh, the the player found her in at the at the time you know back in chapter one where we set her free yeah but then she heard everything that happened and has since uh been uh distraught by uh the needless uh slaughter of so many lives including those who were innocent on that day Therefore, she she has vowed to put an end to the prototype for what he was was like for what he has done. So yeah, Poppy and the the player take an elevator deeper into the factory while uh, Kissy Missy stays behind to activate it. As the elevator lowers into the ground. Kissy Missy is attacked by an unknown uh, entity, and Poppy turns the elevator around to save her, but the door is concealing. The, el the elevator closes, stranding uh, the player and Poppy in, in the deeper levels of the factory, leaving Kissy's fate unknown. So yes, Either uh, Kissy Missy is killed, or either she gets abducted. Abducted. I don't think it's the prototypes doing on what's happening to Kissy Missy at the end of Chapter Three. We do hear a scream that sounds like Huggy Wuggy, so like the actual Huggy Wuggy from Chapter One, meaning that he could still be alive. So, could he be the one attacking to? Um, uh, Kissy Missy, who knows, because Chapters 4 objective it could be to, uh, uh, find Kissy Missy, but it will most likely be to, like, put an end to the prototype for all this, uh, sick shit he's done. Kind of like with Bendy and the Ink Machine, where we had the objective to find Boris, but but Alice did something s fucking sick uh, to Boris, where we had to attack Boris. Then uh, Alice the Angel gets uh, killed by Alice and Angel, 
and we saw Tom. But yes, either chapter four could take place in innovation or maybe some sort of like laboratory that's in Playtime Co. Now let's let's explain about the the tapes. Um, let's see the tapes. Um, trying to find it. I'm I'm gonna pause my recording now while I search. Uh, but yes, Chapter Three's tape intro was the Smiling Critters cartoon, and of course that news report which which we broke down. And uh, so the first tape location is found immediately immediately uh, after. Uh, completing all the platforming at the beginning of chapter 3 at that trash, that garbage uh, disposal. So um, when you're inside the room where you saw Catnap uh, drop you into the, the garbage disposal, the opening cutscene, you pretty much head over to the bloodstain uh, inside the room where the... Uh, Blue tape is located while it it isn't uh, on our screenshot, but the tape is directly in front of the first TV. And yes, again, I am using some uh, sources for reference. And uh, so, uh, so the the tape that's in the gas production zone. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm not sh I'm not sure if I'm using the right reference. You know what, I'm, let's forget about the, the tapes, but yes, I know they're showing, I know some of them were showing on what's happening to the children. Even with Leith Pierre talking to a catnap in the laboratory or the play care. I mean, he, Leith Pierre uh, mostly worked at the innovation. Like, he's the head there. And we also hear Stella's voice on. But I know uh, she's, we hear her crying on, on what the hell's going on. Like, what they do is sick. And uh, I know we also uh, hear, um, uh, I and we heard a tape, what could have been the uh, the scientist's voice recording the logs about the prototype in the first two chapters. Then we hear a kid come, but yeah, there was someone else in that recording that log about the prototype during the chase scene with Catnap. And we hear the prototype talking, mimicking voices. Yeah, like I know what the prototype does is sick, but I but we know uh, we're gonna we're gonna eventually put a stop to the prototype in chapter four. Eh, yeah, like we also hear Rich's voice not knowing why he's so pissed off all the time, yeah. Ugh, but, yeah. I think those are all I can explain on for the tapes. Yeah, we didn't have any more tapes uh, showing any YouTubers like Markiplier or anyone like that. Like with Jack Sept guy from Chapter 2. But that's up to the Mob Entertainment uh, team to uh, offer Markiplier to be in a tape in any upcoming chapters. But we'll have to see, but I don't know if that's going to happen though.
Uh, but yes, now we did not get Daisy the flower or Braun the dinosaur or PJ the pug pillar or Boxy Boo. So uh, they could make an appearance in maybe like chapter four or five or six. Same with uh, Candy Cat and Cat Bee, even uh, Boogie Bot. Oh yeah, and there's going to be some unused characters for Chapter 2 that are going to make an appearance in Chapter 4. Confirmed by Micah, if, uh, a former member of Mob Entertainment, if they get popular. But yes, when Chapter 4 could start production, well, or when it could release, there are possibilities that Chapter 4 could release this year. Like... Like, Mob Entertainment confirmed that Chapter 3 took 8 months. Like, they started development on Chapter 3 around May of 2023. And, or, is that when it, wait, um, yeah, maybe May 2023, yeah, because, and the reason why Chapter 3 hasn't started production yet, it's mainly because of all the production with, uh, Project Playtime. But now, uh, since Project Playtime has been abandoned, they're going to eventually start production on Chapter 4. So, yes, that's... So, yeah, that's why I could... that Why Chapter 4 could really release late this year. Whether if it's fall, it'd be either October or, or November. Or maybe at the beginning of winter, like around December. But of course, we could expect some delays to like 2025. But yeah. Alright, I'm done talking about uh, Poppy Playtime for this video. But yes. Anywho, let's talk about the unfortunate news about uh, uh, FNAF AR. So yes, FNAF AR it is going to be shutting down. And that's okay, because FNAF AR was pretty much abandoned anyway. I mean, I I thought about trying FNAF AR, but I didn't really care about it very, all that much. Just the normal FNAF games in general. Like, I know we got another FNAF game coming based around FNAF Into the Pit coming this year. And, uh... And I know we'll probably get more FNAF games next year as well. After, like, Security Breach. Oh, yes. And I know the the, the sequel for the movie is happening. And I know the fan versus titles are happening as well. Like, I do believe Joy of Creation will be the next fan versus title. Then after that, I think will be Five Nights at Candy's 4. And then after that will lastly be Pop Goes Evergreen. Yeah, I know, uh, I know Emil's, uh, giving updates on Finance Candy's fur, like, uh, about the enemies and more gameplay. And I know, uh, um, Kane Carter recently on Game Jolt gave reasons why Pop Goes Evergreen was going slow. Even working on the Falls toy animatronics as well. But I know Pop Goes Evergreen is going to be pretty big. But yeah, I think... Yeah, that's all I got to talk about. This is all I'll do for the my part 2 of Let's Talk Mascot Horror. I will do another video soon. But if you guys liked what you saw, make sure you uh, click like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and join my Discord fan server and follow me on Instagram. The links will be in the description down below. What I'm probably going to do for a breakdown video next will be on Deadpool 3 for the new trailer, like for the Super Bowl tomorrow. So yes, I'll break So yes, I'll break the trailer down for that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. And wave goodbye, Huggy Wuggy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, see ya.